Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Ian Chikino, casting a game on Shakura's Plateau between Pulp Prime, our Red Terran player, on the top right part of the map, and his opponent, I am Losier. Incredible Mirror calls. Really good clan, have a lot of good Zerg players on there. And he is our Zerg player on the top left, blue Zerg player. And let's see what we have going on in this game. Now we've seen a very similar playstyles from both players in the previous two games. This of course is the tiebreaker. They're tied at 1-1. One, one. Game number three. And we always seen Losier do the extractor trick at 11 and then scout with his drone after that. And this game he is going to go for the overlord at 10. <laughs> uh, and he's going to go for gas. Nope, you're going to extractor trick that. Probably. Yeah, there we go. So he's going to go for that doing the extractor trick once again and scouting uh, at about 10 supply. And Pulp Prime, we've seen both of these games go for double Rax pressure on his opponent, trying to delay that expansion, get some kills, trying to get a little bit of an advantage there. And this game, let's see if we're going to have a pretty similar play style. I'm going to have to guess. My bet is probably so. I think Pulp really loves these two barracks openings versus Zerg. You supply a lot of pressure. The Losier, last game, uh, maybe getting overextending a little too much, taking a little bit, a little bit too many hits there at the beginning, losing eight drones to that initial attack. Uh, from Pulp Prime. Now, Pulp Prime just threw down a gas, which is kind of odd. That's definitely not a build you go for when you're going for a double rocks play. So I don't know if this gas is a trick or if he's actually going for a gas gas play, if he's actually going to tech. Uh, not quite sure. Now, has he scouted his opponent out yet? Not yet, but this Overlord is about to scout. Uh, but he's going to know about He already knows about this anyway, but uh, we'll see if this Overlord is going to move around in the back and probably move over here to the right to go in for a check on that expansion. Now, this gas is up and going. So Pult actually not going for the two racks opening. Uh, kind of surprised there. Maybe he just feels the map is too big. I'm not quite sure. But he's going to go over here and scout. See that his opponent lost here. It did go for hatchery first, followed by gas. And then he's going to throw down a spawning pool probably as soon as he gets 200. Coming up, there he is waiting here in the back corner. There's a spawning pool going down. And this drone's still in here running around. Uh, you're doing a little bit of harassing. He's probably going to steal the gas here pretty soon. Uh, that's what I would expect here, at least if... Uh, if that was me, I would go for the steal, and he's going to lose the drone anyway. Oh, no. So that first drone, scout drone, is down, and Colt going for a factory. Uh, I'm going to expect Pelion, so I'm going to say he's going to make a reaction on that. What's he making? Not making anything yet. He needs 50, 50 gas. I'm guessing this is going to be a reactor. I'm guessing there's going to be some Hellions popping out of that factory pretty soon. And this SCV is going to come around here, do some scouting. He's going to find that he's blocked by that spawning pool. He's going to have to take a detour through the mineral pit of those uh, drones. Now, there we have it. It's a reactor. What do you know? So, Pult going to go for uh, some Hellions this game. Uh, do some Hellion pressure. Now, this ramp is a very small ramp. A lot easier just to, to defend than Shakuras, uh, sorry, than a Shattered Temple is. So... It won't take as many spine crawlers to defend this entrance. One spine crawler with probably a well placed evolution chamber here, just to wall it off a little more than like a queen or two, uh, will easily be able to hold this ramp against Hellions. Uh, so, the really only thing he needs to worry about is a uh, maybe a drop from a medevac or something like that. So, we'll see if he's going to detect into any type of air. I don't think Pult is. I think he's just going to stick with the Hellions, get an expansion up. He hasn't started a second gas yet, hasn't even started a starport yet. So I think he's just going to get a couple of Hellions out just for uh, some harassment. And uh, he's getting a tech lap on his uh, barracks here. I'm kind of uh, curious to see what uh, Pult is going to do here whenever he decides to transition. He has an expansion up and going, so he's not going to be far behind. He's not doing that all in once again. Uh, but Hellions are out. They're going to kill these Zerglings. No problem doing a really good job here from most here, spreading out these Zerglings, kind of delaying uh, Pult until... Uh, he can get his speed finished. Speed is just about finished. Overlord over here on the right, sneaking around. And these Zerglings are done. We have uh, one Marauder on the way. So, okay, Pult may be going for this Mar Hellion Marauder play. He might go for some, like, a Hellion Marauder attack uh, with this expansion. I'm not quite sure, maybe. Hellion's out here at the front. Queen at the front also. Going to be a little uh, pressure here. Now, it looks like Pult is just going to come down here and scout. Make sure there's no hidden third. No tricky third. He's going to scout that out. No third to be seen there from Los here. He's going to run up the ramp. Looks like he's just trying to poke up there. He's just going on a little step by step. <laughs> he's like, nope, I don't want to go up there. I'll wait. So we do have more barracks being placed. So I think we're really going to see Pulp Prime here just pump a lot of Marauders out and uh, just go in with like uh, four or five Marauders in. Uh, and about these four Hellions trying to do a lot of damage. Use the Marauders, focus fire, kill down the Spine Crawler. Use the Hellions to kill the Zerglings. 
and a queen up here trying to try and get some damage in. Fall back, trying to bait him here to the spine crawler. Spine crawler, ooh, he's getting ready for that attack. Didn't get close enough. And a spire going down for Losier. He's got his zerglings here at the ramp. Of course, you don't. Those uh, hellions just running past you, getting up here. So you leave your zerglings at the ramp just to uh, have a choke point so those hellions don't get free reign in your main. Zergling coming in here for scouting, quickly getting roasted, burning away there too. A fine crisp. And we have the expansion finally now for Pulp Prime just getting landed. He's got some, uh, gonna call down some mules, putting up some supply depots for a uh, makeshift wall here at the entrance. Now, wow, actually, he's not gonna go for uh, too many marauders. He's just getting a couple. Now he's basically transitioning into mass marine with tank. Uh, so he's using these hellions to basically control the map, make sure he doesn't get a third, and deny any type of scouting for the time being. Uh, at least cost effectively. Of course, he could run out here with like 30 Zerglings and kill those Hellions, but might not be too cost effective. So he's allowing him to control the Zonlager Tower and uh, get map control for the time being. Scouts his third out continuously. So he knows his opponent is on two base, he's on two base, and that's what you want to try and keep as a Terran player. Those Mutals are going to be coming out pretty soon. Now, Pulp Prime has got Stim just about finished. He's going to have that done. He's going to have quite a few Marines, even making the Missile Turret at his main. So Pulp has these timings down really well. Uh, he's going to have to. Uh, Probably attack here pretty soon. I think he's gonna go for an attack once against a couple of tanks, and then pushes out. He's gonna have those medevac or those uh, missile turrets in his base, so he doesn't have to worry about too much counter harass. Uh, even putting up a missile turret here next to his production. Now the tank is done. They're not starting siege tech yet though. And uh, once again, more zerglings just being sent out here to the Zelnaga tower. <laughs> uh, Lois here just sacrificing zerglings to the Zelnaga gods. Uh, that's like the fourth or fifth one. So a lot of Zerglings got coming out. He's going to try and... Uh, where's he going to? He's just running around. Uh, not sure where he's going with these Zerglings. He's going to scout this out. See, but there's nothing there. So he's going to be able to push up here with the Zerglings. Just running one up first to scout. Making sure there's not too much... Too many uh, Hellions here. He doesn't want to lose all his Zerglings. Uh, just for scouting. And uh, Pult. The nice wall here at the front of his base. With all those supply depots. Another missile turret here at this mineral line. And uh, just one here in the back. More supply depots coming up. A uh, starport being built. And Hellions getting a couple more roasted there, but the Mutalisks are out. They're going to be able to kill these Hellions without a problem. Another Zergling going down. Man, this guy's got a bunch of kills. Two kills, four kills, five kills. <laughs> They're going to get another kill here. Racking up the kills for sure. Mutalisk in the back, getting some harassing going on. They're too close. He needs to pull that one back. Oh, he barely gets it. Pulls back far enough. Now he's in a great position. Those bouncing attacks are going to do a lot of damage to those. Uh, SCVs and also kill that Vespami. Guys are good job here delaying the gas for a little bit. Gonna need one more missile turret up here probably if he wants to hold that gas. That's just not close enough. Zergling is kind of stringing around here and these Hellions are just kind of going back and forth. Are they on patrol or something? Nope, just kind of chilling out and uh, running away from those Mutalisks, but looks like Pult Prime is gonna go for an attack here. Siege check just about finished. He's got three tanks, a bunch of Marines, a lot of Marines actually. Look at all those Marines. And Balin is now frantically being made. And he's going to try and go for a counterattack, Los Sierras, but there's way too many units here and a wall, of course. So Los Sierras in trouble right now. He's going to get siege tanked outside of this base. There are a lot of banelings. Uh, no more mutalisks being produced yet. Just uh, actually, that's a lot of mutalisks. He already has. I don't think he had that many. He's got 11 so far. Tanks now sieging up, and this is going to be a slow push here. He's going to try and uh, push in here and break this. There are a lot of mutalisks coming in from the back. Going to snipe the tank. Nice shot sniping that tank. Only two tanks left, but one is more than enough to continue the pressure. He's going to push up here, get vision. And those spine crawlers going to take those out. No problem. Bailing is going to come down. There's going to be pretty soon. Losier is going to pull the trigger and try and come in here. Lead some Marines back to protect those tanks. Nice job just pushing up some of his units and those Hellions up here at the front of his base, getting vision. Pulling down a couple Bailings just trying to do some damage. Nice Bailing there. Uh, siege tanks friendly fire on a lot of those units and those medevacs. Uh, actually, there's no medevacs to be seen, but those Mutalists are taking a lot of damage. Queen coming up here to the front. Going to lose both of those Hellions finally. But there's still two tanks here in the back, and here come the rest of the Banelings. Oh, no, those Banelings are going the wrong direction. They need to come here even from behind. It looks like he's going to take out all of these units. Banelings taking out the tank even. And pretty good job here from spread from Pult Prime. It looks like Losier did manage to fight that off, but uh, not sure what the cost was there. Food, wow, look at the food differential for both players. Supply, 98 supply for Pult and 64 for Losier. So Losier definitely behind, behind here in the supply count. Check the Harvester, 40-40, so it's tied up. So this army of Pult... Uh, is definitely a force to be reckoned with. He has two medevacs now, so he can start dropping here in the main and just ignore the spine crawlers if they get rebuilt, or he can just pick up those marines in the medevacs if banelings come. So that's definitely something you want to look out for. His uh, mutalisk army is uh, not much to be uh, looked at right now, just about four out at this point. And he's got some more tanks, so Pult is just going to continue the pressure. A lot of marines out, no more marauders still. He's going to put these siege tanks up here in a pretty good position in range up the front and just try and take out this expansion. Just take a couple marines, push them here to the front, get vision. 
He's uh, stimming actually getting clear and scan. Oh no, the siege tanks <laughs> aiming and taking out those uh, creep tumors, and he was just right on top of that. Was so much damage there to his own units. Gonna kill his queen. No, the queen's gonna get away. Stimming running away the wrong direction. He needs to pick up in those medevacs, but he's just gonna spread out, have all the bangs die anyway. And uh, those noodles are now going to show up. More marines coming here. Stimming, they're going to go pick up all those marines if he's not too careful. He gets back. Queen now coming back in the fight. Bailing's now rolling in here. Going to do some damage. There's still like 10 marines left. Noodles, not enough. Noodles, 17, 18. Zergling's coming out. Drones now being pulled. Those tanks aren't in position. He needs to back up now. He's backing up. Good job. Pulp Prime backing up there into the tank range. He needs to keep those tanks in this game. A big reinforcement squad coming here from Pulp. You can see this on the minimap rolling out. And this second wave of attack from Pult may be too much for Losier. Losier really hasn't had a chance to take his third this game. And Pult has just done a really good job of controlling out those Hellings at the front. Ooh, lost three more Bailings there to those tanks. And this second wave of attack is just going to be too much, I think. Pult now with double, almost double the supply of Losier. And just so many rings. Bailings coming up. There's one Bailing left. More than enough Medivacs. Good job, Losier. GGing. So good job, Pult Prime there at getting this win. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but from game one to game three, I just think Pult Prime just got exponentially better each game. It, just, it seemed like the first game, Pult was like, uh, I'm just going to all in you. And the second game was like, I'll expand, and then I'll kind of do, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that with Banshees. It didn't work out too well. And this game, he was like, you know what, I'm going to open up Hellions, control the map, keep you on two base, and then I'm going to roll in with the Marine Tank and the Medivacs. And, uh, man, game three, great job there by Pult Prime. Really doing an amazing job here. Really good TVZ. I liked it. Game three, uh, I definitely think was the best game of the three, uh, at least as far as uh, Pult Prime's uh, play goes. And I think the most interesting game was game two. But anyways, it was a great series. Pult ended up winning this 2-1. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, see you later.